Welcome back to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Today, we will explore 20 actors of the 70s and 80s. From famous stars of the past, we will be amazed at how their appearance changes over time. Let's look back at the faces that have made waves and see how they have transformed over the years with the theme, 20 actors of the 70s and 80s and their shocking look now, before starting. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to always receive breaking news about the lives of glamorous celebrities. Let's get started. Number 20, Glenn Close, full name Glenn Close Tracy, was born on March 19, 1947 in Greenwich, Connecticut. She is known as the Queen of Cinema, with her outstanding talent and beautiful beauty. Glenn Close began her acting career in the 1970s on Broadway quickly asserting her talent and achieving much success. Her breakthrough roles in her career were Norma Desmond in the 1950 film, Sunset Boulevard, and Cruella de Vil in 101 Dalmatians in 1996, helping her receive eight prestigious Oscar nominations. She recently participated in the movie The Wife in 2017 and received many compliments for her outstanding acting. Glenn Close is considered one of Hollywood's most talented and respected actresses. She has contributed to bringing audiences impressive, emotional and diverse performances in many different film genres. Currently at the age of 77, Glenn Close still maintains her luxurious charisma and noble beauty. She is an icon of Hollywood cinema, with great contributions to art. Number 19, Steve Martin, full name Stephen Glenn Martin, was born on August 14, 1945 in Waco, Texas. He began his career in the mid-1960s, when he participated in writing and performing for The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. Prominent roles that made his name include films such as The Jerk in 1979 and Father of the Bride in 1991. Planes, Trains and Automobiles in 1987 Martin has been married to Anne Stringfield since 2007 and has one daughter. He is also a famous art collector and often holds personal exhibitions. Steve Martin is considered one of the most influential comedians of all time. He has won many prestigious awards, including an Emmy, five Grammys and an Oscar. Steve Martin is known for his unique comedic style, creative use of language, and energetic performances. Currently, he is 78 years old and is still active in the entertainment industry mainly writing books and performing music. Steve Martin is a talented comedian, an excellent writer, and a respected musician. He brought laughter to millions of people around the world and left a lasting mark on entertainment history. Number 18, Mark Hamill, full name Mark Richard Hamill, was born on September 25, 1951 in Oakland, California. He began his acting career in the mid-1970s. Hamill is best known for his role as Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars film series and his voice role as the Joker in the animated series Batman. The animated series, Hamill's appearance changed dramatically due to surgeries after a car accident in 1977. Hamill has been married to Mary Lou York since 1978 and has three children. He has a special passion for comics and video games, regularly participating in Comic-Con events. Currently, at the age of 72, Mark Hamill is still active in the field of acting and voice acting. Grandfather considered a popular culture icon. He inspired millions with his role as Luke Skywalker, one of the most beloved heroes of all time. Number 17, Mark Harmon, full name Thomas Mark Harmon, was born on September 2, 1951 in Burbank, California. He began his acting career in the mid-1970s. Harmon's famous roles were in the series, Saint Elsewhere, from 1983 to 1986, 
and NCIS from 2003 to the present. Harmon has been married to actress Pam Dauber since 1987 and has two children. He is famous for his private lifestyle and family is more important than career. Mark Harmon is considered one of the most beloved television actors of all time. He has won many prestigious awards, including two Primetime Emmy Awards. Mark Harmon is known for his natural acting and ability to captivate audiences. Currently, at the age of 72, he is still active in the entertainment industry, especially playing the role of Leroy Jethro Gibbs in NCIS. Mark Harmon is a talented actor, a beloved television star and a symbol of masculinity. He has brought impressive characters and compelling stories to audiences around the world. Number 16, Katie Segal, full name Catherine Louise Segal, was born on January 19, 1954 in Los Angeles, California. She began her acting career in the late 1970s. Segal is best known for her roles as Peggy Bundy on Married, with Children, and Gemma Teller Morrow on Sons of Anarchy. She continues to voice Leela Taranga in the animated series Futurama and acted in several films and television shows. Seagal has been married three times and currently lives with her third husband, Sons of Anarchy, creator Kurt Sutter. They have a daughter together. Seagal is also a singer, having released many rock albums. She has won many prestigious awards, including two Golden Globes and two Primetime Emmy Awards. Katie Seagal is known for her comedic acting, voice acting, and singing abilities, currently, at the age of 70. Katie Seagal is still mainly active in the fields of acting and music. She is a talented actress and an excellent voice artist. She brought laughter and joy to millions of people around the world. Number 15. Sharon Gless, full name Sharon Marguerite Gless, was born on May 31, 1943 in Los Angeles, California. She began her acting career in the early 1970s. Gless's famous role was as Christine Cagney in the films, Cagney and Lacey, and Cheryl Poole in the series, The Trials of Rosie O'Neill. Gless has been married to producer Barney Rosenzweig since 1991. She is known for her strong statements on women's rights and human rights. LGBTQ+. Gless has won many prestigious awards, including two Primetime Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe. She is known for her strong acting, diverse acting abilities and strong female characters. Now at the age of 80, Sharon Gless has retired from acting, mainly participating in special and charity projects. She was a talented actress, a television icon and a pioneer for women in the entertainment industry. She has inspired generations of actresses with her professional and versatile acting abilities. Number 14. Paul Reiser, real name Paul Herman Reiser, was born on March 30, 1956 in New York City. Starting his acting career in the 1980s, Paul Reiser quickly made his mark with his humorous, witty acting style and diverse transformation abilities. Paul Reiser's defining role was Michael Taylor on the 1987-1990 sitcom My Two Dads and Paul Buckman on the 1992-1999 sitcom Mad About You. For his role as Paul Buckman, Reiser received two nominations. Nominated Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. He was also honored in Comedy Central's 100 Greatest Stand-Ups of All Time list. Currently, Paul Reiser is 68 years old. He continues to work in the acting field, participating in many film and television projects. Most recently, he appeared in the films Stranger Things and The Kaminsky Method. Paul Reiser is highly appreciated for his natural acting ability and intelligent and sophisticated comedy style. 
he has contributed to bringing the audience wonderful moments of entertainment through his roles. Number 13. Michael Gross's full name is Michael Edward Gross, born on June 21, 1947 in Chicago, Illinois. Beginning his acting career in the 1970s, Michael Gross made his mark on audiences through two classic roles, Stephen Keaton in the hit sitcom, Family Ties, from 1982 to 1989 and Burt Gummer, The Monster Hunter. Brave character in the series, Tremors, from 1990 to present, Michael Gross is most widely known for his role as Stephen Keaton, a conservative father on American Family. The film achieved great success, bringing Michael Gross's name to new heights. Currently, at the age of 77, Michael Gross is still working hard in the acting field. He continues to participate in film projects, both film and television. Michael Gross is highly appreciated for his spirit of dedication and passion for acting. He is considered one of Hollywood's most talented and popular actors with impressive roles and a lasting career. Number 12. Richard Thomas's full name is Richard Earl Thomas, born June 13, 1951 in Manhattan, New York. He is most widely known for his role as John Boy Walton on the 1972-1983 television series, The Waltons, a role that earned him an Emmy Award and two Golden Globe nominations. Thomas began acting at a young age, appearing in plays and television commercials. In 1972, at the age of 21, he took on the role of John Boy Walton, the main character in The Waltons, a television series set in America in the 1930s and 1940s. This role brought Thomas's name to new heights, turning him into one of Hollywood's most popular young stars. In addition, Thomas also participated in many other prominent film projects such as Roots in 1977, The Wind and the Willows in 1987. Thomas has been married three times and has three children. Currently at the age of 72, Thomas is still active in the acting field, but less frequently than before. He regularly participated in stage plays and played supporting roles in television series. Richard Thomas is recognized as a talented actor with diverse acting abilities. He has contributed to bringing realistic and touching character images to the audience through his roles. Number 11. Peter Scolari's full name is Peter Thomas Scolari, born September 12, 1955, in New Rochelle, New York, is an actor known for his roles as Henry Desmond in the ABC sitcom, Bosom Buddies, and Michael Harris in the series CBS sitcom, Newhart. Scolari began her acting career in the 1970s with roles in stage plays. He made his mark on television with his starring role in, Bosom Buddies, from 1982 to 1984 alongside Tom Hanks. Scolari then continued to achieve success with his role as Michael Harris on Newhart from 1982 to 1990, a role that earned him three Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. Scolari is known for his charming comedic acting, flexible role-playing ability, and great chemistry with his co-stars. He has participated in more than 100 television series and movies. In addition to acting, Scolari is also a talented director. Scolari was married four times and had two children. He passed away on October 22, 2021 in Manhattan, New York, at the age of 66 after a battle with leukemia. Scolari is considered one of the best comedians of all time. He left a deep impression on the audience with his humorous, witty and emotional roles.
Number 10. Linda Carter's real name is Linda Jean Cordova Carter was born on July 24, 1951 in Phoenix, Arizona. She began her acting career in 1972. Linda Carter is most widely known for her role as Diana Prince, Wonder Woman in the film television series of the same name from 1975 to 1979. In addition to Wonder Woman, Carter also participated in many other television series and movies such as BJ and the Bear in 1978 to 1981, and more recently, Sky Sharks. In 2022, Linda Carter is considered one of the most famous television actresses of all time. Her role as Wonder Woman inspired generations of women and helped change the way women were viewed on screen. She was honored with many awards, including a Hollywood Walk of Fame honorable mention in 2018. Carter married Robert A. Altman in 1984 and has two children. Currently at the age of 72, she is still active in the entertainment industry, participating in television shows, events and voicing cartoons. Linda Carter is a talented and beautiful actress who has made great contributions to the entertainment industry. She inspired millions of people around the world and will always be remembered as the legendary Wonder Woman. Number 9. Meg Tilly's real name is Margaret Elizabeth Chan, born February 14, 1960 in Long Beach, California, is a famous Canadian actress and writer, Tilly entered the entertainment industry in 1979 with a role in the movie, Fame. However, her career only really exploded after her role as Sister Monica in the 1985 film, Agnes of God, which helped her win a Golden Globe Award and an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. In addition to Agnes of God, Tilly also made an impression on the audience through outstanding roles in The Big Chill in 1983 and Valmont in 1989, for which she received many prestigious awards for her acting, including a Golden Globe, an Oscar nomination, and a Genie Award for Best Actress. Tilly has been married three times and has two children. Currently, she is living in Los Angeles even though she is 64 years old. Meg Tilly still maintains her radiant beauty and confident demeanor, she still participates in acting occasionally and spends time with her family and her hobbies of writing. Meg Tilly is a talented actress who left a deep impression on the audience through her impressive roles. Her acting ability and dedication to the arts deserve to be recognized and appreciated. Number 8. Bette Midler, born December 1, 1945 in Honolulu, Hawaii, is a beautiful and versatile performer. Starting her singing career in the 1960s, Bette Midler quickly attracted attention with her powerful voice, unique performance style and charming comedic performances. Her role as a drug-addicted rock singer in the 1979 film, The Rose, earned Bette Midler a Best Actress Oscar nomination and helped her position as a top movie star. With four Grammy Awards, four Golden Globe Awards, three Emmy Awards, one Tony Award and two Oscar nominations, Bette Midler is considered one of the most versatile and influential performers of the 20th century. Besides her successful artistic career, Bette Midler is also known for her active charity activities, especially in the fields of environmental protection and supporting the homeless. At the age of 78, Bette Midler is still active in art. She regularly organizes music tours, participates in acting in movies and does charity activities. With her talent and dedication to art, Bette Midler deserves to be honored as a pop culture icon and legendary diva of the 70s and 80s. Number 7. Nancy McKeon's full name is Nancy Justine McKeon, born April 4, 1966 in Westbury, New York, is a famous and talented actress. She is known for her role as Joe Polmiacek in the hit sitcom The Facts of Life on NBC and Ginny Exted Trong series The Division. McKeon began his acting career at an early age, appearing in commercials and television shows. Her breakthrough role came in 1982 when she was cast in The Facts of Life 
starring alongside Kim Fields, Lisa Welchel, Minnie Driver and Charlene Tilton. The show achieved much success and lasted for nine seasons, bringing McKeon's name to new heights. In addition, McKeon also participated in many other television series and movies such as, A Cry for Help, The Tracy Thurman Story, The Wrong Woman, McKeon married Mark Andrus in 2003 and has two daughters, Aurora and Harlow. She currently lives a simple life with her family in California, occasionally participating in small acting projects and charity activities. Now at the age of 58, McKeon has acted less, but she still retains her charm and love from fans. McKeon is highly appreciated for his natural acting ability, flexibly transforming into many different roles. With her talent and contributions, Nancy McKeon deserves to be recognized as one of the typical actresses of the 80s. Number 6. Lauren Chu's real name is Cynthia Lauren Chu's, born October 26, 1953 in Braddock, Pennsylvania, is a veteran actress known for her role as Julie McCoy, the beautiful and personable head hostess on the Princess Cruise ship. In the famous TV series, The Love Boat, from 1977 to 1986, Lauren Chu's acting career began in the early 1970s with small roles in television series such as, Barnaby Jones, and, Maude. After that, she was fortunate to be cast as Julie McCoy in The Love Boat, the role that brought her name to new heights. In addition to the role of Julie McCoy, Lauren Chews also participated in a number of other films such as Murder and the Murdochs and The X-Files Game. However, these roles were not as successful as the role in The Love Boat, Lauren Chews has been through three marriages. Currently, at the age of 70, she is enjoying single life in California, she actively participates in charity activities and shares everyday moments on social networking sites. Lauren Chews is highly appreciated for her acting talent, professionalism and dedication to art. Her role as Julie McCoy has come to symbolize love, romance and yachting adventures. Number 5. John Saxon, real name Carmen Orico, was born on August 5, 1936 in Brooklyn, New York. Starting his acting career in 1954, John Saxon quickly made his mark with roles in classic films such as The Ten Commandments in 1956, Runaway in 1963, but the role that really brought John Saxon great fame was leader Nero in the 1956 film The Ten Commandments an impressive villain role that brought John Saxon's name to a large audience. And his role as Lee in the 1973 film, Enter the Dragon. His eye-catching action performance with the legendary Bruce Lee, affirmed John Saxon's star position in the martial arts film genre. In addition to acting, John Saxon is also known for his martial arts talent, possessing black belts in judo and karate. His personal life is quite private, it is known that he has been married three times and has one son. John Saxon passed away on July 25, 2020 in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, at the age of 83, from pneumonia. Even though he has passed away, John Saxon is always remembered as a talented actor and contributor to world cinema. He left behind a huge film treasure with more than 200 roles, contributing to enriching the Hollywood cinema industry. Number 4. Gary Busey's real name is William Gary Busey, born June 29, 1944 in Baytown, Texas, is a veteran Hollywood actor, beginning his acting career in the early 1970s, Busey quickly established his talent as Buddy Holly in The Buddy Holly Story in 1978, earning him an Oscar nomination for Best Actor. The role of villain C.B. Fletcher in Point Break in 1991 helped Busey make a strong impression on the audience. With over 150 movies and many TV shows, 
Famous for his diverse range of roles, from scary villains to witty comedic characters, Busey has received many prestigious awards such as the National Society of Film Critics Award and the Globe Award. Yellow. Besides his successful acting career, Busey is also known for his liberal lifestyle and quirky statements. He has been married twice and has two sons. Currently at the age of 79, Busey is still diligently devoting himself to cinema, with Gary Busey's radiant smile and mysterious eyes being his signature brand, contributing to the image of an impossible cinema legend. Forgotten in the hearts of the audience. Number 3, Robert De Niro's full name is Robert Anthony De Niro Jr., born August 17, 1943 in Manhattan, New York, is a famous actor and film producer. Known for his long-term collaboration with director Martin Scorsese, De Niro is considered one of the greatest and most influential actors of all time. De Niro's career began in the 1960s on the theater stage, and he quickly asserted his talent through roles in short films. The roles that brought De Niro great fame were young Vito Corleone in The Godfather Part II in 1974, a role for which he won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, and Travis Bickle in Taxi Driver in 1974. In 1976, the role earned him an Oscar nomination for Best Actor. Throughout his artistic journey, De Niro has made his mark with countless diverse roles, from the ruthless gangster in Goodfellas to the old puncher in Raging Bull. Currently, at the age of 80, Robert De Niro is still devoted to cinema. He is considered a symbol of the role-playing school of acting, with the ability to transform diversely and convey the character's inner feelings deeply. Famous for his method acting, acting style, De Niro always devotes his whole heart to each role, making viewers immersed in the story and fully feeling the character's emotions. Number 2. Jack Nicholson's real name is John Joseph Nicholson, born April 22, 1937 in Neptune, New Jersey is a legendary Hollywood actor and filmmaker, Jack Nicholson's career began in the 1950s with small roles in B-movies. He broke through in the 60s with roles in Easy Rider in 1969 and Five Easy Pieces in 1970, affirming his status as an A-list star. Jack Nicholson's iconic role as the Joker in Batman in 1989, the classic villain role left a deep impression on the audience and his role as Melvin Udall in As Good As It Gets in 1997, a role that helped him win his second Best Actor Oscar. With his great contributions to the cinema industry, Jack Nicholson has received countless prestigious awards, including three Academy Awards, three Golden Globe Awards, 12 Oscar nominations and seven Golden Globe nominations. Jack Nicholson's personal life is also colorful with quick love affairs and five children. He is known for his liberal lifestyle, love of partying and has been involved in a number of scandals. Currently, at the age of 87, Jack Nicholson has retired after more than five decades of dedication to art. He spends time with his family and enjoys a peaceful life. Jack Nicholson's devilish smile and crazy acting style have become his distinct trademark, making him a pop culture icon and source of inspiration. Inspiration for many generations of actors to come. Number 1. Dustin Hoffman, born August 8, 1937 in Los Angeles, California, is a famous actor and filmmaker. He has contributed to shaping Hollywood cinema with his transformative, immersive and creative acting style. Hoffman's career began in the 1960s on Broadway, where he established his talent through plays such as Death of a Salesman and E.H. Joe. When talking about Dustin Hoffman, it is impossible not to mention two iconic roles that shaped his name. Benjamin Braddock in The Graduate in 1967 and Ratso Rizzo in Midnight Cowboy in 1969. 
With The Graduate, Hoffman transformed into a rebellious young man, confused by life and love, bringing a new perspective on the young generation at that time. Besides his successful acting career, Dustin Hoffman also tried his hand as a director, producer and screenwriter. With more than 50 years of dedication to art, Dustin Hoffman has received countless prestigious awards, including two Academy Awards, six Golden Globe Awards, three BAFTA Awards and one Golden Bear Award. Dustin Hoffman married Lisa Gotzigan for the second time in 1980 and had six children. Currently at the age of 86, he lives in New York and continues to act, although in fewer films than before. Hoffman is a Hollywood icon, a talented artist, his contributions will always be remembered for his great contributions to world cinema. And that closes the list of topics, 20 actors of the 70s and 80s and their shocking look now, ours today. Through this journey, we have clearly seen that although time may change the appearance of stars, their talent and contributions to the film industry remain forever. These actors' before and after photos are not only a testament to change but also a reminder of their perseverance and illustrious careers over the decades. Please share your opinion in the comments section below. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe and press the notification bell to always be updated with interesting stories and topics from the entertainment world. See you in the next video.